reaction video for Workout Wednesday 2021 week 16. Can you use quick LEDs to recreate this view? In our dashboard what we have done is we've coloured the bar chart depending on whether it's above or below the category average and in here I have used a Gantt reference line as well as the bar chart with some labels at the end. But the main focus on this was how to use quick LODs. So let's get started. So I'm going to start creating my view as to what I want. So I want category and subcategory and I also want sales. So I'm going to make this fit entire view. So now I have my category and subcategory sales. I'm just going to sort descending as well. So in theory, what I'm trying to recreate is if I add this average line in here, I'm trying to recreate this average and we can do this with quick LODs. So the first thing I need to do is I need to press shift, uh, press command or control and drag sales on top of my subcategory. This is going to create my first LOD. So now I have the first level of detail calculation. I want to be able to create that second one. But the, the nature of level of detail calculations is when you, um, when you first create it, it's based on the default setting of the aggregation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on my new LOD and change the default properties on the aggregation to average because I want that to be the average by category. So I'm going to click my new LOD and my category and I'm going to right click create LOD. And now you'll notice this automatically creates the average of that value at the category level. So I'm going to click OK. And when I add that to my view, you'll see now that I get 185 and a half thousand, which is the same as this reference line. So from here, we can take off the reference line and I'm going to right click dual axes and synchronize. And then we can just play around with some of the settings to make sure that we have the same or a very similar view to what we have already. So I can now change this color. So we want this to be a nice black color and our sales are going to be changed to a different color anyway. So we want the sales to be above or below this particular value. So we create one more calculation, which is above or below. And we'll just do the sum of sales is greater than or equal to the sales value and click OK. And then we can add that to our bar chart for color. OK, so we now have our colors, which is very nice. And we can change these to um, this was a tealy color and the other one was a gray so we have this view and then finally you'll notice that it's the percentage above the particular this um, average so we need to create that percentage so I'm going to create this and just call this um, percentage above or, or below and we can just do the sum of sales divided by the sum of the um, average sales. If I click OK, you'll see that we have this value here. So this is 77% um, of what we need to do from that calculation is we just need to minus one off of it. So we, we can then say whether it's above or below. Um, so I'm just gonna wrap that in this and click apply. So now we can say this is um, 77% above and this is minus 38 so we can format that so I'm just going to default number properties and change this and in here we can do our 0% followed by 0% and we can also add in our keyboard shortcuts so let's just add these in here so um, I have it on my other screen so we're going to go down and up and now when I click OK you'll see that it's got a down or, a, or an up arrow and from here what we can do is we can just add it to our label on the end of our bar 
bar charts. And just a few little extra tips on formatting, um, which is including the bar charts, um, the tooltip. But the main element of this week's was to create a quick LODs. So recap, you can drag, hit command, drag and drop on top of a dimension to create an LOD. Or you can hit shift or command on both of them and then create an LOD calculation from there. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, please check out the rest of the solution videos. Bye for now.